それじゃ親子なんて随分つまらないそうねでもみんなそうなってくんじゃないかしらだんだんそうなるのよじゃあお姉さんもええ泣いたかないけどやっぱりそうなってくわよいやね世の中ってそう嫌なことばっかり Children grow up and move away. Parents grow old and die. Time passes. Life goes on. Everybody knows all of this, but sometimes it takes a great work of art to remind us of these basic truths. Many people consider Yasujiro Ozu's Tokyo Story to be one of the finest films ever made. <laughs> He is a master at evoking the feelings that his characters are conditioned not to express. An elderly couple takes a day long train ride from their village in southwestern Japan to Tokyo to visit their grown up children there. Their son, Kyochi, is a doctor living with his wife and two sons in a modest suburban house. Their daughter, Shige, is a hairdresser. Neither of these two has much time or patience for their parents, and it's only Noriko, their daughter in law, who was married to a son killed in World War II, who treats them with any kind of warmth or kindness. <laughs> The ensemble cast, most of them Ozu regulars, play together with ease and generosity. The emotional tone of Tokyo's story is quiet and calm, but the feelings themselves are intense. Ozu rivals Buster Keaton in his ability to generate humor and pathos within a static frame. Scenes unfold gracefully like phrases of music, and nothing distracts you from paying close attention to this family. A lot of movies that grapple with these themes, and they are big themes, are large scale, sweeping, ambitious, overpowering. Tokyo Story is none of these things. It's merely perfect. <laughs>